Hi everyone, I'm Carol Keller. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Illinois in the United States. And I'm here as part of Woohoo Weekend. I'm excited to be here today. I actually have two cards to share with you. Here we go. So this is my first card. And like I said, I'm using that heartfelt hexagon bundle for both cards and you're gonna see that they're very different. I really like to show variety when I'm using a bundle and you know, kind of showing you how to use it in a lot of different ways. So let's get started with card number one. I have a basic white card base, which I'm bringing in here. And I will, I will confess it's tough to switch gears. I worked all day and came home. Actually, we actually had an in-service today. So I was at a different school learning some stuff and whatnot. And so it's kind of hard to switch gears this fast, but I think I can do it. So I'm also using, it's called Lighter Than Air. And that's what I'm using. And it's not actually my all-time favorite from the catalog, but it's up there in the top three, I think. So I have cut a piece of that lighten, what did I say? <laughs> Lighter than air, sorry. Lighter than air. I told you it's hard to switch gears. Lighter than air paper. Yes, Shirley, that is, this is the new glass mat. I love, love, love it. If you are watching and you have thought about being a demonstrator, now is the time to sign up because there's less than two weeks left when you can earn this glass mat studio for free. And I love it. I've been using it constantly since I got it. And like I said, I love it. So anyway, this piece of paper is cut to four by five and a quarter or 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters. So the first one obviously inches. And I'm gonna get my stamp and seal here. Isn't it hard? I was just talking to someone about this. When you have beautiful designer series paper that's gorgeous on both sides and it's like you hate to waste the side that no one sees. <laughs> that's very hard for me. So we're just going to center that over here. And then I think we'll do some stamping next. And I do have a tip. I learned this from someone else is how to place your stamps when you have a punch. And because like this stamp that we're going to use to outline this, it kind of moves a little bit. So sometimes you put it on your block and it's crooked and here's a way to do it so that it's closer. It's not perfect on there, but it's closer. So you kind of lay it down on your stamp and this is hard for me to do. I'm gonna try. And like, if, it, if you see that it's crooked, you can move it. This looks pretty good though. So I've got it stamped side down so that I can then grab it with my block and pick it up. And hopefully that is the dimension I need. So we're gonna find out because I've got a scrap here of basic white and we're gonna do our stamping. So I'm gonna bring in Highland Heather. And we're gonna ink it up and stamp it. And while I have the Highland Heather, we're gonna do some more stamping because on the inside, um, on the inside, actually, that's right, I used Balmy Blue, but I also decorated the envelope on the front and on the back. So I think we'll use Balmy Blue for this just because then I won't have to clean the stamp. But this is what we're gonna do for the back. So let me grab my envelope and I'm gonna grab the Let's Eat Cake stamp from that heartfelt hexagon set. And hopefully I'll remember to show you everything at the end. I'm notorious for forgetting. And we're gonna stamp it so that it overlaps the envelope and then the base of the card. And so that's gonna be it for our Highland Heather. Cause like I said, we're gonna use Balmy Blue on that happy birthday on the front since we're doing it on the inside. So I'm going to bring in Balmy Blue and I'm going to, I am going to quickly clean that one stamp that we used, that outline stamp, because we're going to use it again for this one. And we're just going to lay it right over there. And then I've got my sentiment, which comes from that same heartfelt hexagon set. I hope your day is filled with joy. We're gonna put that right in the middle. Ooh, that's very inky. And let me make sure you can see this. Let me move it up. 
sometimes my the camera doesn't catch the bottom of that mat. Oh, good. It's a little inky, but it worked. And then I've got Happy Birthday. And this actually comes from the Let's Go Shopping stamp set. I really like this. I've used it quite a bit because I feel like this is a good Happy Birthday sentiment. So that's going to go on the inside. And I love this glass mat. I line up. It's like got built-in grid paper. So I just line up my card. So I know that, oh, my stamp is crooked. <laughs> I think it's a little crooked there. Let's fix that. Uh, I think that'll be okay though. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the front. Right here. Oh yeah, that's better. <laughs> so our envelope is done. Because we don't like making envelopes. And all of our stamping is done. So we're gonna bring in that punch, that heartfelt hexagon punch. And we're gonna Cut this out. Oh yeah, this looks like it lined up nicely. So you can see it's, you know, perfectly uh, centered in there and everything. So that's your trick for lining up those stamps that go along with the punches. And I, like I said, I don't remember where I heard that from. I know it was from another demonstrator, but whoever you are, thank you so much because it was a fabulous tip. And then I have for the rest of the outside, some of that, some more of that paper. I already punched one, so that one is done, but I'm going to punch the other ones out just with some of the different designs. And then we'll put them on. And that wonderful striped paper, and the, this is on the other side. So we're, we are actually using both sides of that paper because we couldn't let that go to waste. And then for the balloon, I just lined it up with this one as best I could. About like this. And so now all we have to do is lay them out. But before we do that, I took this one and I'm, I wrapped some twine. I'm gonna put some seal on the back because we need to hold it in place. And I think that will make it much easier. So yeah, let's do that. Whoops, but there's a knot and we don't want that. We'll just get that out. And so you're gonna leave a tail so that you can tie the bow. Or if you want to, you can just wrap it around three times and then tie the bow separately and add it. Because I know some people um, find it more challenging. So you could do it separately, but I'm gonna go for it here. And so yeah, then hopefully that twine is held on the back with the seal. Yes, because my <laughs> the front was sticking to it also. All right, and then let me get my snips. This is probably the hardest part of the whole card. So you can see it's not hard at all. And then we're gonna trim that tail. And the other thing I did do, I'm gonna put this on the card with seal, but I did put some multi-purpose liquid glue down here just to really hold it in place because it kept popping up. So I did do that and I'm going to do that again. So I think we'll put that one down first. I'm gonna put seal on the rest because that will, whoops, hold just fine. But I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom. And actually I'll overlap it with the twine. So then that will help it to stay put also. All sorts of little tips and tricks. Oh, wait, I got glue on me. See, this is why I don't like the glue, because then it's all over my fingers. And I'm not a big fan of that, but it's a necessary evil. I'm definitely a stamp and seal kind of girl. But the glue just, you know, is what you need sometimes. So I'm going to hold that down just for a second for it to catch. And then my... Um, twine will stay in place. I'm also going to grab a glue dot and kind of roll it on my finger and stick it underneath to keep that bow in place as well because that will hopefully keep it from untying and it helps hold it in place. All right, so for the rest, I've just got my seal. 
and I'm purposely saving the center one with the sentiment for last because we're going to bump that up with dimensionals. Of course, and I've got now some glue on here. I love this though. The um, There's a chamois that unfortunately I didn't wet. I should have that comes with the glass mat studio and it takes the glue right off, takes the adhesive right off of the surface of the glass mat. So it's fantastic. You don't need alcohol wipes or anything like that. I love it. Takes ink off. I've um, stamped off on here and then used the chamois to get it off. It's great. And now for this one, like I said, I'm going to bring in my mentionals. Whoops. And we'll put some of those on the back. And then we'll get the paper off. And then we're going to center this. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's just sitting there perfectly. I love it. Love that tip. And then last but not least, what's a card without bling? So I've got the rainbow adhesive back dots. And I'm going to grab my take your pick tool to put them on. Whoops. And it looks like I use the small ones for this. And I'm going to follow the same pattern that I did. So we've got one. This is, what color is this? Petal pink, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to look at that. I'll double check that and let you know. And we've got Fresh Freesia and Lemon Lolly. And then up at the top, I used... I think I use pool party. We'll use pool party again. You could use balmy blue as well. That's what's up here. Come on. The putty is. I need some new putty. There we go. And last but not least, what did I not use? Bubble bath. Yeah. Come on. They're being stubborn today. There we go. And so there is our bling, and there is our card. Oh, I know, that's right, one more thing, one more thing. I had a little extra strip actually at the bottom of the DSP, and so I put that on the inside, and so I'm going to do that as well. I love it just for that little pop of color also on the inside. And now our card is complete. What do you think? Aren't those colors beautiful? I really love... The colors in the DSP, they're very soft and pretty, and I just love them. So let me, that reminds me too, yay, I remembered. Let me show you what I used, the Heartfelt Hexagon Stamp Set. So that, I hope your day is filled with joy. You could also use it for a wedding, and then, but I decided to use it for birthday. But you've also got Sympathy and the, the birthday one with this too. The Happy Birthday Sentiment comes from Let's Go Shopping. And you saw already the punch. And here are the different um, patterns for the designer series paper in that lighter than air pack. And here are the other sides. Gorgeous. And I believe that is everything I used. You saw the adhesive back dots and the twine. And I should show you the twine because it comes with three colors. The lemon lolly that we used, balmy blue and calypso coral. Or I forget it. This might be um, flirty flamingo. But yeah, they coordinate also with each other and with the dots and with the hot air balloon set and the, the DSP. So there's a whole suite of products. And so actually I used a different stamp set and punch that doesn't necessarily coordinate with the suite and I made it work. So you can, you know, obviously use things with, you don't have to stay with one suite. You can mix and match and create lots of wonderful things. All right, that is card number one. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. Stay tuned. Happy stamping.